everybody. It's Frank with Page Performance Shooting. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, today, what I'm going to talk to you about is a store that I sometimes go to in Newington called the Army Barracks. It's at, I wrote it down, 2585 Berlin Turnpike, Newington, Connecticut, 06111. Um, nice store. So Army Barracks is a kind of a lot of stuff in one. It's airsoft, a ton of airsoft stuff. So if you're into airsoft, they have all kinds of rifles, uh, shotguns, and handguns. They have the new line of Glock airsoft guns as well. I was looking at one of those today. Good price. Can't complain about the prices. They have all the stuff that you need to go along with airsoft. They have all the tactical equipment you might want. They sell uniforms, military uniforms, new and used stuff. They have military boots. They have ammo cans. Uh, they have camouflage netting. Uh, backpacks, military coats. I think they have nine line apparel. I know they have nine line apparel in there. Um, they have t-shirts. They have toys, army toys, military style toys for kids or adults. Hey, if you like toys, um, I like toys. And they have some old stuff, a lot of new stuff. They have all the, the LB. <laughs> I'll show you how old I am, LB. Um, they have all the web gear you need, you know, if you're going to set up your tactical vest, your plate carrier, whatever. They have they have fake plates uh, for plate carriers, for airsofters, and people that want to look like that, uh, that kind of stuff. Um, knives, tons of knives, tons of knives. Good good brands, too, like Cold Steel and, um, and things like that. They have swords and replica swords and all that kind of stuff. They have all, all kinds of stuff. It's a great place for all that kind of military and law enforcement related stuff. They have a med kits as well and stuff like that. So I went in there just before Christmas and I was in the store. They had a raffle going and um, you put a dollar, you get a ticket for the raffle. Write your name on the ticket, throw it in the box. And uh, a, guy, a gentleman was nice enough. He, uh, I had my service dog in training with me and a gentleman disturbed the dog. She's not supposed to do. He realized that he felt bad. And when he left, he left $9 for me. So I took that $9 and a couple of my own dollars that I had and I threw it in the box for, for, um, the raffle. And they gave me nine or 10, 12 tickets or whatever it was. Um, I think it was, yeah, day before Christmas, they drew the raffle and I was one of the winners. I don't know how many winners they had. I know it was several, but, um, you know, I was one of the winners. I don't know how much money they raised, but the fact that they are raising money for veterans uh, is a good thing to start with. So that was quite nice to see. But what I won was this cool backpack. Now, I wasn't expecting, I was expecting when they said I won to go in and find like a t-shirt, some patches in the bag or something like that, like the store bag with some t-shirt and some patches or something, you know, maybe a pair of glasses or whatever, you know, something like that. Um, but this this prize is pretty cool. So I got this cool backpack first. That's what it came in. Um, you can see it's uh, like a digital multicam, a digital cam, not a multicam, digicam type thing. It's Next Pack USA, um, Pack and Explore is their motto. So that's a pretty nice backpack. Nothing, nothing crazy, you know, probably ranges in the $40, $50 range for this backpack, I would think. Um, there's not a price tag on it. It was on there and it fell off. Um, you know, I could use it around the house. Uh, not around the house. I could use it, throw it in the truck for a spare bag or something. My son can just take his books to school with my younger son if he wants to or something like that. But inside of this thing, there is a whole bunch of goodies. Okay, so this lady showed me. She starts pulling stuff out. I was I was surprised. Yeah, the staff there. We'll talk about the staff. The staff there is super nice. I don't know their names. I've been there many times. Bought airsoft guns there for my son and I to, to practice with and train with. Um, bought clothing there and, and all kinds of stuff. They've always been super nice. Um, the lady that was running the place, I think she's running it. Real nice lady. She's always very friendly. Um, so they start pulling stuff out of this. I was like, there was a bunch of stuff here and it's gotta be pro probably valued a couple hundred dollars for this bag. So it's airsoft. So most of it's airsoft. So let's get that out of the way. There's, there's nothing crazy in here. There's a few other things, but, um, a lot of it's Falcon tactical. So this is an airsoft thing. This Falcon tactical, um, CO2 powered plastic shells, um, distraction devices. So pretty cool. 12 shells, probably something I won't use. Maybe I'll gift them to somebody I know that's airsoft or something. Uh, 
Or maybe, <laughs> maybe I'll load one and throw it outside when my kids aren't looking. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, got this cool um, cold steel uh, collapsible water bottle. Real nice. Flip top lid. It's got the carabiner on it. Pretty cool. Uh, 0.7 liter for 23 ounces. I have a Falcon Tactical flash suppressor for one of their um, airsoft guns. That's pretty cool. I mean, this thing alone is 24 bucks right there. The price is on it, you know. Um, this thing right here. No price. No clue what it's worth. This has, doesn't have the price on either. They gave me some astronaut food, chocolate ice cream with chocolate chips. I'm sure the family will enjoy that with me. Uh, an airsoft gun. So this is an uh, Umar, Umar Rex, um, and it's a Walther PPK-S operative model. It's got a suppressor on it. It's got uh, some pellets and a spare magazine, and it is, um, is it green gas or is it CO2 powered? Oh, it's spring powered spring so it's it's a spring power one so another another toy for me to go out and play with the boys with uh, outside so that's pretty cool that's that you know don't know what something like this is valued at but that's pretty cool what else in here um oh a um a three power magnifier by falcon outdoor so this magnifier you know okay it's not any point it's not eotech but it's still a very nice piece to have um very nice piece to have, you know, it's, it is what it is. It, you know, it works, it does its job. I don't know how rugged it is, I've never tested it. But that being said, I'm sure I could throw this on one of my plinking guns um, or one of my spare rifles or something and it'll work just fine. I mean, it, it feels pretty heavy duty. It feels like an aluminum body. It's got the rubberized coating. It's got adjustments on it. So I'll read up about it, see how to use it uh, with the adjustments and stuff. But that's that's really cool. It was really, it was really nice to see that in there. Uh, one or two more things in here. A uh, Falcon Tactical uh, dead rag. So a little rag, I, probably for some cleaning glasses or oh, dead rag. I wonder if that means you throw it up when you're you're dead on the uh, on the airsoft field. And then a little cold steel uh, cold steel micro recon knife. You know, so can't say enough about these people. Uh, first, the money went to veterans. So I don't know, I don't know if some of this stuff was donated or if they paid for it out of their store funds. But you figure there's at least a few backpacks is my understanding. And there's got to be a couple hundred dollars worth of stuff in this backpack retail price, I would assume. Um, so they spent some money. Um, so I got to go visit them. That's all there is uh, in this bag. Um, hey, y'all stay safe. Have a great new year.